Headliners can be difficult as so as it is. Uh, sometimes special occasions roll in where you have to, you know, think outside the box. Uh, as much as I love using mainstream chemicals, um, sometimes there's um, situations that arise where you just gotta go with your instinct and use what you think will work. I don't know if coffee exploded up into it or what, but um, that challenge was complicated by the fact that the headliner was starting to fail. The adhesive was starting to fail and the headliner was coming down as so as it is. So the owner um, gave the go to do what we could, try and save it, and um, this is what we did. Okay, so this is the mess that we're going to try and clean up and compounding this problem is the fact that at some corners the headliner is actually starting to fail and come down. So we're really going to have to be careful here. I get a lot of headliner problems. I've gone through this before. Um, so I'm going to treat this with what I know works. We're going to first hit it with uh, a little bit of the steamer. Um, we're just going to warm things up a little bit get a little bit of a mist in there and moisten things up. And this prepares it to receive the next step, which is a little concoction I've been using, um, which is a mixture of uh, fabric softener and Tide Cold Water Clean. One loosens up the fabric a little bit, the other one starts to lift the dirt and get ready for the next step. I'm doing all this keeping in mind that at some corners the headliner is starting to fail already and I really have to be careful. The mixture in the bottle of Tide is one to one. The mixture in the bottle of fabric softener one to one. Couple sprays into the application pad with both bottles. Dab directly onto the spots and afterwards before I go to the next step I'm just going to spread it out like I am here. You'll notice the area is not saturated. Now for the next step when you get the steam cleaner out, if you don't have a steamer that has adjustments for temperature, pressure, or anything else, um, grab the triangle brush and put a microfiber towel, wrap it around it, secure it, and you can use it that way. But with the one I have, I can adjust just about everything. I turn the temperature down to 140 from 240 and turn the steam pressure way down so it's a little bit more air pressure actually than it is steam. Although tedious, I'm just going to attack one stain at a time. It's been chemically pre-treated so all I have to do is hit it with the steamer and mop with a microfiber towel. I have a pile of them right next to me. I'm just going to keep mopping and mopping and make sure the area doesn't get oversaturated. That is an important step. We're going to speed things up here, but I'd like to add that if the temperature was maxed at uh, 240 or 300 degrees or whatever your steamer's max is and the vapor pressure was all the way up, um, within seconds the fabric would be separating and probably coming down on your head. Compounding the situation even more, just beneath the surface of the fabric is a, I'd say a quarter to a half inch of uh, foam cushion uh, separating the fabric and the headboard. So we can't really put a lot of pressure um, when removing the product we have to rub gently. So when you have that teamed up with the magnitude of the stain itself and also trying not to oversaturate, um, it, was, it was quite the job.
After dried, the stain is completely removed and the headliner is where it's supposed to be, attached to the headboard. There are many types of headliners, guys. Um, the newer headliner is easier to work with, easier to clean, uh, but you never know what's gonna roll in the door. So my advice is to get experience with the older stuff and the newer stuff. Um, that's the only way to really learn uh, what's gonna work. Different situations on different spills, different stains. Um, it could be anywhere from stains from drinks to staining from tobacco but uh, just be prepared for it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, we'll catch you next time.